Hi, I'm Zay. Uh, this is pretty much one of my first attempts at making a Souls game. Uh, not making, but recording a Souls game and one of my first times recording a game playthrough at all. And I kind of wanted to get into it just to kind of see how it goes. And I guess I do like playing games, so I figured I may as well, you know, record me playing. My goal for this is not really for it to be something that takes off, like how some guys do do this for a living. My goal for this is just pretty much to have fun, and if it's something that a lot of people like, that's fine. If it's something that nobody likes, that's fine. I ask mainly for me just to have fun and just for people to watch along as I play the game. Um, as you see, it says continue. Um, Mistakenly, I started recording and I thought that everything was good. I thought that when I record, everything's going to sync up well. I thought because I recorded on a different game that, oh, this is going to be perfect. Nope. My video was messed up. It was kind of blurry and the audio didn't sync up and it was pretty much crap. So, uh, after a while of testing and making sure everything was synced up. I finally got it right to where it seems pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna do another video recording and then uh, I'll ask you guys that everything will good on your end, that the audio was good, and if everybody says it's good then uh, I'll keep continuing with that. But for the most part the uh, sync of the audio in the game matches so and the sync of my voice matches so only thing I need to work on really is the audio levels. So if you guys say that's good, then that part would be good for me. If that, and then if not, I'll test it a little bit more. And that's the reason why pretty much it says continue is because uh, I recorded the game without uh, what you call it testing first and so I'm gonna load this game up to kind of give you a rough idea of where I'm at and then I'm gonna start a whole new game so I'm right here at the village and so I'm gonna pretty much start a whole new game to get back to there so if I say or it feels like oh I know where everything's at well, that's why, because <laughs> I already played that part. But this it was still my first time playing this game. It's just this as far as I have gotten. And so, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to start the game and act like I have not played. Can you hear me? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. And I just want to clarify. By clarify, I have not played, I mean... I mean, as far as skipping cutscenes and things like that, and talking. Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. I am not that good of an actor to, you know, like, act that surprise when an enemy pops out or something like that. No, I'm not that uh, good at acting to fake all of that, but I mean by that is... I see my name is Sophia. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. By that I mean, since this is my first playthrough of the game, I won't skip the cutscenes or anything Let's like that. Let's get you out of there. Find something that might help. I forgot how much talking I do at the first part, but yeah. Uh, that's what I mean. So if the I, I, streets are not safe. Arm yourself with one. It'll be helpful on your way to the hotel. 
I uh, went for uh, I'm going for a balance build. Destination hotel Recommend escaping from this location. So if I act like I know what I'm doing, or if I act like I know, oh, this enemy is pretty weak, or where uh, these items are at, it's not that I. Sorry, I was wondering. It's not that I looked it up, it's just I played this part right quick. I mean, in here, so I actually know what I'm doing right here, but once it gets part of the game, I do not know what I'm doing. And I will be. I have no problem admitting that. This is one of my first sold games other than the original Dark Souls. Quite better. But that I mean Dark Souls 1 is the only game I kind of play. Dark Souls 2, I only play really the beginning. And I never played Dark Souls 3. I have Elder Ring too, and I haven't even played that yet. Mainly due to storage issues because how much the game, how much space the game takes up, so I haven't played it. So this is my playthrough. First playthrough of a Dark Souls game that I plan on beating. I don't know how far I will get, but this is one that I plan on beating. I don't remember any of the key for that, but there are parts that I kind of forgot. And some enemies where I kind of forgot. And don't be surprised if you, if I miss an item, thinking that I already got it before. Oh my god. Bro. This lock on sometimes is more annoying than it really is because it locks on to other enemies and I'm like I'm not fighting here. Uh anyway. Um if so is that like I know where all the items are at? It's just because those are the ones I remember but I may forget an item thinking I got it because of this my other playthrough. Or like this where I kinda um do know where it's at. Because I went through here before. But yeah, until I get to the village, I kind of know what's going to happen. I know everything. But. It doesn't mean I won't die. And it doesn't mean I'm like super skillful at this game. Nine times out of ten, I probably forgot some of this stuff, and I probably fall for some of the same crap that I would that I did when I first played the game. Well, first, yeah, when I first when I first played the game. I am gonna try to rush to get back to where I was though, because my first time playing, I took way. And that's right there is my time to jump a while. I'm probably still gonna fall for some of the same crap. Uh, but when I first played this, I probably took way longer than I should have to get to where I was. Um, I may have had three times as many hours in a game as somebody who played the game normally. Because I was, I was grinding a lot of like, I think I was at level 60. When I got to that village, it's probably like a level 30 area or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just fighting in it just for fun, watching like boss burgers or something, not realizing how many experience points I was gathering. But for anyone who shift, let's open the door. But for anyone who is playing, uh. I would say do not regret it. Do not regret, uh... Shit. Okay. Let's oh, screw this shit. Wait, we'll kill him like I did the last time.
I know for some people they carry. Shit, this guy is fucking annoying. Answer this question. I was thinking in the back of my head, can I die even on block? And yes, you can. I thought maybe it was one of those games that just takes your life down to like 1%, and so you technically die on the next hit, but you're still alive. But I can't know, they, it, it does kill you. But yeah, that's what I mean by. I am really still a rookie at this. I play this part, not the first part, but don't take that as to mean that I know what I'm doing. But I should open the damn door while I'm doing it. kind of upset that I have to start the game, but I told you I was too powerful for where I was at, so because I was, I wasn't like steamrolling bosses, but like, I feel like some boss fights were way harder than they, I mean way easier than they probably intended to be, but that first boss for me, that puppet master, whatever the hell he was, was way was a lot of bullshit to me because I died on him on any boss that I played up to that village other than like I said I still don't know if that's still the beginning of that game or how far it was in the beginning but I, I died on him maybe like 20 times and every other boss I killed for the first time I like how it tells me I can recover my stuff after I'm already dead. But that's what I need to do. work on my parrying as well. Well not parrying but I guess on here perfect guard. Oh yeah. Fuck I still have to stagger him a little bit more, I forgot. Oh my god this piece fucking get annoying. I don't know if it's me that I had that much difficult time with him, but yeah, I some of these bosses I get to hang up really quick and I'm able to steamroll them and some of these bosses I have the most trouble with. But either way, he's dead now and I am moving on.
I remember this area. This area pissed me. Well, it actually wasn't that hard. It is one of the easiest areas. But, if you want to leave this game up on you, it's one of the most hardest. But, this seems to be every area with this game that the enemies gang up on you and your HP just drains. I don't care what level you are. It seems like... Oh yeah, because I think on here the hits multiply. So each time you get hit, they take more energy. So one enemy attacks you. You got attacked. Fuck. That auto lock seems to, like it. It seems auto lock is better for one enemy because it seems like it's multiple of them. It fucks you over more than anything else. Oh, that's why I only activated it. I'm like, how the hell I'm on a pulse this. already? Oh. This is called a stargazer, a marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. We are. We are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. But the stargazer's strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Krat. So with this one, I don't, I'm not sure. So with this one, I'm not sure. Is does it limit how far you can level up, or limit how many times you can use it to level up? And that's where I was going to experiment with, um, seeing how many experience points I can gather and see how much I can level up at once. See, can I level up past what I did the first time, or does it cap you out at that certain level and you can't level up at all until you get to Sophia? So for this playthrough, I was going to go for an advanced build, just because, um, what you call it, that's what I was doing at first, before I started over. Uh, only thing I did unknowingly was I didn't know what mobility and I think, uh, what's the other one? Mobility and whatever the other one is for weapons. I thought all of those had hand in hand together and I didn't know advance was his own thing and so now that I know advance is his own thing I may upgrade mobility to 10 or whatever the other one is I think mobility and technique and I think mo mobility is for he heavy weapons and technique is for lightweight weapons and I may upgrade both of them to level 10 just because right now that's the only weapon I have until I get the advanced weapon and also too I am not quite sure maybe somebody can answer this for me does that still help with advanced weapons as well because I'm thinking even though it is an advanced weapon doesn't it still need to be swung so like do you still need to upgrade advanced and the technique if it's like a lightweight weapon because it still needs you know to be swung that part's coming from technique while the event part's coming from I mean while the element part's coming from the that 
Technique. 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 Nila says something in the world, but I don't see it anymore. Oh, but for anyone wondering, because I knew somebody, I was reading about it, and I did see that some people said dot for the dot in this game sucks or whether as good. To me, the dot in this game is good. Uh, when you get the always comforting in here to tell your government tells you they're in control and nothing's going on. Especially when they tell you you can't even leave. That's how you know everything's in control. Obviously that's sarcasm. I think there was this, I don't know if it's a quote, but I know if some people say it, but no, this is that. If your government tells you everything is fine, then it's time to worry. I forgot, and then it's like, if your government tells you something, then you should be terrified. Oh, it's, I think it's when they say we're here to help. And when somebody tells you, and when the government specifically tells you this area is safe, you have nothing to worry about. That's when you don't fast go, you don't get to work on, you don't get the hell out of Dodge. Sorry, why did I do that? Oh crap, ah. Oh. I was talking and forget what I was doing. I was just going through the motion. Um, I'm trying to remember. I need to get to the other side of that door. I'm trying to remember if I get to this part. Obviously, I need to go to that door, but I'm trying to remember. I think I have to go down here, and it's some kind of train conductor. You can do anything here. So he's, yeah. So basically, I have to keep walking for some dumb reason. I turn around. There he goes. That's when you learn about the red attacks. And he's throwing off the thing.
trying to practice a little bit of uh what you might call it, uh farting. I don't obviously I'm not gonna become an expert, but you never know. Practicing a little bit does help a little bit. Um May reason I Obviously, I'm not going to make a pro like that, but I just prefer dodging because I have the hang of dodging better. But for me, it's a. I don't have to worry about trying to put the sun down that if he misses me all together. There's an ambush. So I see now. I just ran in there and attacked the dog. And these are the attacks. Sorry. And yeah, I feel like the auto god just it's a it it harms you when it's more than one enemy because you took out the other two, no problem not even getting hit. Have the auto lock on and take more damage or end up taking more damage with it on than with it off here's what I was looking for forgot what this was so. oh repair tool that's I was I have never used that and I've still been wondering what the hell that is my biggest guess for that was that if you break your weapon like my durability is going down Obviously, I can use this and charge it up, but let's just say fighting the boss, get carried away, and forget all about it. I wonder if that can repair the weapon, not to break it. And that's the reason why you have it. Because they work on. That works on the advanced weapon too, being able to retrain their durability. So I'm like, but well, if I can keep, uh, what you call it, if I can keep re, uh, repairing it that way with the grindstone, that's what it is, and sharpening it, then why do I need to have a repair tool? So the only thing I can think of is, well, I haven't got that, I haven't, that haven't happened yet, but what if the weapon breaks? Then that's when my mind kind of clicked up, oh, that's probably to repair the weapon after it completely breaks versus, uh, A powerful parade puppet is blocking the entrance. I hate and this bastard. Yeah, the so boss I have died the most on. And at all, the only one. Well, I am for the. Oh, I am mean for to try to level up as much as I can and see if that works. So I'm going to. Not necessarily. I'm going to end the video here, uh, pretty much, and then just kind of like grind my way to level up to see how how many how how many is it level up cap or just how many times you use it to level up. Like if you level up to level 50, and you had enough experience points to do that. Does it let you level up to level 50 as long as you do it all at the same time, or does it when does it stop you from leveling up once you get like I think on um, what level I'm on now? Ten. So like after you get to level fifteen, it's gonna stop you from leveling up regardless if you have the amount enough money, enough cargo to level up at the end. But yeah. Uh join me next time and I'm gonna fight the parade boss. Hopefully I kill this fucker faster than I did the first time.
thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.